Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world of automotive rhythms. It's Kamani Rawlings, and we've just made a pit stop at Clinton Porter's starting running back for the Washington Redskins. This is charity weekend for the 2010 Land Rover LR4 Tour. Not only, but we've integrated the LR4 with movie premieres like Diddy's Get Him To The Greek, and model shoots, and celebrity shoots, and NFL shoots like Vashante Shank or the Minnesota Vikings. It's all about the performance, the new sophistication, the technology. Oh, and I forgot about the off-roading at the Land Rover Driving School at the Biltmore Estates in North Carolina. So follow my lead and ride with us because you know where you heard it first, Automotive Rhythms. CP, you got a lot going on, Charity Weekend, All White Weekend. It's your second annual. Tell us the philosophy and what you're trying to achieve for this glorious weekend. Hey, really just giving back to the community, man. You know, I think you get an opportunity to go out and be a part of the community, and you got to show your appreciation. So this is it, the CP annual, all white, yeah. second annual, uh, all white weekend. And it's just geared toward uh, really just finding charities that's, that's in need at the time, mm -hmm. you know. Um, Every year, it's always going to be something going on. It's a natural disaster going on yeah. right now, uh, down in the Gulf. You know, you, you still got uh, the inner city youth, the football camps, and all that. So it was just having an opportunity. You know, you can give back. People appreciate it. Give back. Now we're here with Tatiana Noboa, event coordinator for the second annual Clinton Porter's Charity Weekend. Tati, how are you today? Good, thank you. How are you? It's hot. <laughs> but we're so happy to have Automotive Rhythms here, bringing out all these hot rides and just making this weekend so special. So we've you know, got these parties going, and it's really, really um, a cause-based weekend, just getting everybody to come out and support this charitable cause. And we've been so fortunate to have wonderful sponsors like Automotive Rhythms here that <laughs> have just made this so, so wonderful. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, Clinton's friends and, uh, you know, his a lot of his celebrity friends and um, VIPs here that are just coming out to support and really party for a purpose. Ladies and gentlemen, come on, New Orleans, Automotive Rhythms, and welcome to South Beach, Miami, for Film Life's 14th Annual American Black Film Festival. Want to give a big shout out to Jeff Friday for putting it all together. And we'll be hanging out with Ambassador Idris Elba and touring around the Land Rover LR4. Check us out as we talk to some of the upcoming and veteran directors, actresses, actresses, producers, and many others in the film industry. Stay tuned, Automotive Rhythms. here with Idris and Idris and you are the festival ambassador what does that mean to you man you know I asked I asked Chef Friday what does the ambassador have to do but you know in, in truth man it's been great I've been able to fly the flag for the ABFF uh, a proud flag it is too and uh, and encourage some some people that haven't been to the festival to come here this year um, and you know I, I guess you know my story who I am and how people uh, relate to me man you know is part of what the festival is about I used to come here as an actor, so it's just it's just a great honor to be an ambassador. Every year, we get to be on South Beach. Fantastic women, fantastic bodies, fantastic parties, but also some fantastic cars. Reggie, I mean, it's always a pleasure, you know, coming out to the film festival. I mean, Jeff Friday's always done a great job. Congrats on his 14th year back in Miami. Idris Elba, we're real close with, you know, he's the ambassador. And you know, our thing is integrating the vehicles with it. And, and I don't mind doing that. You know, we have a 2010 Land Rover LR4. 
I mean, anything I can do to help with the urban automotive experience, and I'm right there for Friday. There's um, things that this truck has done that um, you can only do if you had a Tonka truck or something like that. Even though you're in an off-road type environment, um, it's still in control and it's smooth. I felt like you were going to roll over, but the truck is totally in control and it just rolls right off. It's, and it's smooth. And uh, whether it's a, a hole or a hill or rocks or dirt or mud, it just plows right through it. And, um, and never in my wildest dreams I thought that a truck had those types of capabilities.